Hey guys, it's Rosco, and on the Space Couch today we're going to be having our first look at this, the encyclopedia of science fiction that I acquired for £5 from a charity shop in Sunderland. Great covers in there. So I will just pop off the dust cover. Oh, there's a different thing that's on there. So there you go. I think that, yes, it's the same that's on the back. I'm not certain what this is referencing, but I'm sure it'll be in here somewhere. There you go, that 70s style of animation. There's a giant skull and you see the style of the ships. This is very much like Battlestar Galactica, the front bit here, isn't it? Like the Galactica, rather. Um, again, that 70s style, which I really like. We saw a lot of that in Terran Trade Authority and Futuropolis. There you go. Flying City has landed. This doesn't look very good. <laughs> what is that, does it say? No, it doesn't. Ah, now, my copy of War of the Worlds. This is the dust jacket. I have showed that to you ages ago. But yes, oh, oh it's very, very similar to this. It's the same concept. A ship um, with uh, the tripods coming after it. In my version, I think there's also like a three-masted steamer ship somewhere in the background. I don't think this one has that. Now, this might very well have been in one of those Terran Trade Authority books because it's so much in that style, isn't it? This giant ship approaching those domed cities. From under the treads of the machine to the frontiers of the mind and of space, from the apparent idolatry of utopia to the hostile world of commerce, science fiction has something to say about everything, and it certainly does. Uh, this does remind me very much of that one that we saw in um, uh, Great Space Battles, I think it was, one of those books where they find the planet that's been nuked. This is very much in that kind of sequence. I don't think this is for Planet of the Apes, but it's clearly referencing that. And this is an interesting image as well. City of the Dead. I love the covers for those old magazines, like Astounding Stories and Amazing Stories. This one was like Fantastic Mysteries or something. Yeah. Ah. Ah, the Enterprise. Not sure what that's from. Oh, it's from e, uh, Close Encounters. It's when he gets burned on one side. Ah, uh, now this. This was in Futuropolis from James Blish's Cities and Flight Sequence. It was a cover for that. That's just a beautiful painting. Quite the invasion, you wouldn't want that. <laughs> that looks like a dragon of some kind. No. That's quite an arresting image. You see the city here. It looks like uh, basically the galaxy, and then <laughs> it looks like a Death Star, I suppose. And this was also was in one of those uh, Great Space Battles Terran Trade Authority books as well. Very nice image. Some of these are quite surreal images. Ah, that one was also was in there. I think this is a nuclear explosion. I don't really look if it is. It? Yes, it is. Very Dali-like. It's not Dali, but it's like Dali. <laughs> there we go. Quite interesting also, this giant ship. That's some city on stilts. I think it's a city on stilts. That's about it, though. There's this section here. <laughs> you 
to be interesting as well. I still haven't seen any Star Wars stuff in this, but I have just been paging through it. Is there much? No, this is just old text, essentially. Yes. Um, no, that's not, that is it. So there you go, guys. That's just our first look at the Encyclopedia of Science Fiction. I suspect we shall be using that for background information on various franchises, certainly the ones that were extant at the time, so Galactica, Star Wars, Doctor Who, Star Trek, whatever, as and when we come to discuss those. I'm sure we should be using this. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestion for a topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.